And we do have more breaking news right now. That is Steve Bannon responding to the Justice Department's request. They had requested him to report to prison for his contempt of Congress conviction immediately. His filing in response coming in now, just before midnight deadline. Bannon's lawyers claiming he would face, quote, irreparable harm if he goes to prison before his appeal is heard. So is Bannon about to go behind bars and start serving that time or not? Sarah Murray is out front. This is irony. Far-right firebrand Steve Bannon could soon end up in prison during the run-up to the presidential election. You have to take on the deep state. You have to do it. You have to be prepared to go to prison. I get prison sentences all over. The Justice Department asking a federal judge to force Bannon to report to prison for his four-month sentence after an appeals court upheld Bannon's contempt of Congress conviction. The sentence coming after Bannon was arrested. They will never shut me up. They'll have to kill me first. I have not yet begun the fight. And convicted by a jury in July 2022 for defying a subpoena from the Congressional Committee investigating the January 6th insurrection. Those who planned to overturn our election and brought us to the point of violence must also be accountable. The committee wanted to know about Bannon's contact with Trump and comments ahead of the Capitol attack like this one. All hell is going to break loose tomorrow. A defiant Bannon. If you do not believe the 2020 election was stolen, you're not at the railhead of this movement. Spending his time post-conviction continuing to spread the lie that the 2020 election was stolen to fire up the Trump base ahead of November. They're going to do everything to steal this election. That's why you have to be on the ramparts and you have to be on the ramparts 24-7. The goal for Team Bannon keep up the fight and keep Bannon out of jail. This thing about uh, I'm above the law is an absolute and total lie. Bannon has long argued he followed the advice of his attorney in refusing to comply with the subpoena, but that defense was not allowed to be presented in court. Now Bannon's attorney plans to ask the full court of appeals to take up the issue, vowing to go to the Supreme Court if necessary. This prosecution was unprecedented and has at all times been politically motivated, Bannon attorney David Schoen told CNN. The integrity of our system demands that the conviction be reversed. If Bannon doesn't succeed, the former White House chief strategist could join the string of Trump loyalists who have found themselves serving time. One of them, Trump's former trade advisor, Peter Navarro. Democrat appointed judges are systematically stripping away the full, fair and rightful defenses of Trump. As I ready myself for a prison cell, currently serving a four-month sentence for contempt of Congress. Former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen served a three-year sentence in prison and in home confinement. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort spent two years behind bars, followed by home confinement. And former Trump organization CFO Alan Weisselberg is currently serving time at Rikers. And Sarah, you know, you just read through this new filing from Bannon. So what do you think going through it? Will his arguments hold sway with the judge? Well, it might. I mean, Trump or Bannon's attorney, David Schoen, is essentially arguing that if you make Bannon serve this sentence now, it's only four months. By the time uh, any appeal could play out before either the full court of appeals or, if necessary, the Supreme Court, Bannon would have already served his sentence. It might be a moral victory, but you would have done this injustice to him if uh -huh. one of these other courts decides to overturn it. And again, they're making this argument to the judge who originally stayed Bannon's sentence. So we'll see what the judge decides. Right. Interesting, and I guess you know you, you have an interesting point there that it would last uh, if he served it uh, and it was uh, overruled, then I wouldn't need to serve it at all. All right, Sarah, thank you very much.